guys i hope you're all doing well and um, it has been a difficult couple of weeks for us as a family and um, if any of you follow me over on instagram then you'll know that we very very sadly lost our little dog she's been there through everything she's been there through three house moves she's been there through two babies been born she has been there at our wedding it has been so 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 difficult and I've tried to say this a few times without getting upset but it's just really hard um, and you know that anything that I put on my channel I want to be 100% real with you all and I just don't think that I could ever fake it. It has been probably the toughest time um, that we've all been through. It's been a massive massive change in the dynamics of our family, our home doesn't feel the same and um, she brought such character to our house and like a real sense of security and we really really miss that, we miss her and we just feel very very grateful that we've had such a full life with her, like she's brought us so many happy memories um, and yeah I just feel like it was better to have loved and lost her than to never have loved her at all and that is such a true saying they're such massive parts of your family dogs and it's been really really testing for us as a family um, to kind of see everything that went on with her. We really tried our most at the end um, and I know a lot of you have wanted to know what happened so she had kidney failure and there was just as much as I was in denial there was no saving her. We had her in 24 hour care, we had her getting every scan, every medication, she just couldn't eat, she couldn't walk she couldn't go to the toilet just it was sad and we had to do the kindest thing and have her put to sleep because she was really suffering at the end however right up until that very last week she was amazing and we are so happy to have had her in our lives and i just couldn't do this video without acknowledging that because she has made us learn to love in a different way than what you do with your kids it's just a different kind of I don't know, it's just a different feeling that you, you never have, especially if you love dogs and you have dogs, you'll know exactly what I mean. So with that being said, she's definitely left a hole in our home and we just don't feel, as a family, we just don't feel complete without a wee dog. And I don't know if you'll ever find that there's a right time, um, but we've obviously been off and we have been self-isolating for COVID-19 and we felt like more than ever because we've only been in the house it just the time has been so accelerated it just it doesn't feel like it's only been you know the time that it has it feels like it has been weeks and weeks um and the emptiness in here is really it's really really draining new beginnings new exciting times and we have got a little puppy coming tonight it's all new and yeah we're just trying to ride the wave and Try not to get emotional and just enjoy this little one for as long as obviously we have her and yeah let's just go let's go downstairs i'm so excited for the kids to have something happy going on in their life just now because they obviously can feed off of us that we've been really sad so it'll be lovely for us to have like a nice moment to be uplifted as a family so let's go downstairs and let's just wait on her arriving Daddy. <gasps> Charlie when snacks are like. Charlie's granny. I know, Charlie. Charlie, this is your doggy. It's everybody's doggy. It's everybody's doggy. It's everybody's doggy. Oh, it's so cute. Hold her? I hold her as well. Yeah. How cute is that? Oh, she says hello, Charlie. It's a wee puppy one. Uh -huh. Can I hold it? Hey, he's going to sit up. Down. And a little puppy, Hi. mommy. And a little puppy. Yeah. It's right. your puppy. You just need to remember, you, right, that... Are you we, we, right, listen guys, right, one thing, we can't be rough with her, okay? Because she's very, very small, okay? Need to, we can't be rough with her. <laughs> <laughs> get our, little puppy, get our biscuit. 
Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. Well, Charlie, see, because the puppy's so small, she can't get biscuits yet, okay? Okay. Okay, pal. But when she can get biscuits, we can give her one. Okay, oh, you can, you can be so the first. Cute. Just get crumbs in every head. He, he mm. likes he like color He likes yeah. a cat and toy. Blue, like yeah. Nana. Yeah, blue like Nana. Blue like Nana. Little puppy, you like uh, toy? Aww. So we the need to think of names for her. Daddy, the puppy said yes. <laughs> puppy said yes. Puppy said yes. Is she cute, Charlie? Mm. She's nice and soft, isn't she? Give her a wee kiss. I kissed them. I kissed that one. Kiss. I kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie. I love you, Charlie. I kissed them. Yeah. Do you the know what? Two puppies. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Daddy, thank you for buying me. No problem. <laughs> You're it's welcome, pal. Blonde. It's black and white. You're so very welcome. We just need to we take need very to good care of her, okay? Okay, she's, she's so delicate. From when she's a puppy right until when she's old, just like big Lola, alright? Because you never seen Lola when she was a puppy, didn't you not? Mm. So you have a lot of care. And a little puppy. But listen to mum, listen to mum, Charlie. See your little puppy, don't scratch, don't scratch. Scratch, darling. I'm gonna See take care of her every day. Good girl. She's so cute. But listen, see, see, I know she's very cute, but you need to be so careful with her because she's just got little bones. Look, she's so calm. But, uh, she's she's like a little, she's a little girl. I'm a little puppy. <laughs> 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 Want some water? I think got some water. It's yeah, we need to get some water. That's a good idea. Dream. No, it's not a dream. Come on, darling. Oh, I see you. Oh, you're so cute. Let's see your wee face. Gorgeous. You okay? Where are the kids? Where are the kids? Good morning, everyone. I thought we'd just continue the vlog from yesterday. I'm just in the middle of doing Charlie's at bed. I had to strip it because it's a weekend and we like to try and get the beds done so I'm just going to put this on but last night our little pup did so well I took her up maybe like every two hours or something to the toilet so she never really got the chance to pee herself because I was just constantly taking it out but she slept in her room last night um, and she did really really well I thought she would have been whining and obviously missing the company of the other pups and her mum and she was actually brand new usually we would normally put like a clock or something that's got like the ticking sound so it sounds like a heartbeat under their bed but we never did that because she was so settled so just hoping that that's going to continue at the moment she's nine weeks old she's so good she's like really quite calm but still playful so she's not yappy but i haven't even heard her make a noise yet so she's not whined and she's not 
barked or anything yet but she's still really young like I say so anyway I'm just about to put his bed on and then I'm going to then show you her and Ella because they're currently lying under the dining table sleeping together which is just the cutest thing the kids are so delighted with her um, and we're just so happy that we feel like we've done the right thing by them especially because you can just see how much of a bond that they're getting already and it's not even been a full day yet which has been so good but yeah um, they're sleeping just now she's been running about all day in the garden and she likes my plants <laughs> and I've not even told you in this actually we've decided to call her Maggie so that's her name we've decided why is we wanted something old fashioned I don't know I just really love when dogs have got like old people names and I don't know if Maggie is like considered an older person's name but a lot of people I know that are called Maggie are older so um, I just really like that I like all the old names like Maggie and we liked what's other names we liked try to think now we liked Bonnie as well but we ended up we just I don't know when we looked at her she just didn't feel like a Bonnie she looked like a Maggie I don't know a good time for us at the moment to get a dog just with everything that's going on and we've been self-isolating and I think we're never really going to get a time like this again where we can absolutely guarantee that we're going to be at home for the foreseeable future um, and we were, our holidays cancelled as well so it's like an ideal opportunity for us to give a dog our absolute 100% attention whilst all this is going on so obviously at the moment the kids and I have been like self-isolating completely for how many days is that now? That must be nine days um, and a friend of mine has also done the same thing so she, her kids have also been in the house for like nine days so it's good we, we get to spend time together which is ideal because it means the kids aren't going stir crazy because they've got no company which is perfect for us um, and then obviously having this wee girl for distraction will be lovely for the next few while because the world's just going crazy and it's so so sad and it's obviously like everything we read just now and everything we're doing is all related to the coronavirus and it's absolutely heartbreaking and I think it's lovely for us to have like a, a release from that and just to kind of focus on something lovely with the kids because I'm really aware of them being like over stimulated with all this panic and worry that it's lovely to have something that's nothing to do with that um, which obviously doesn't make us feel any different about the situation but it's nice for them to know that we're talking about something completely different because I feel like no matter how much you try to avoid it the news, radio, like people around you, phone calls, us it's just the, the number one topic at the moment of course so it's lovely that we've got wee Maggie around to spend the time with the kids and they can see her every day and build that bond and we can all just be there to look after her and get her house broken and you know and just make sure that she can get potty trained and all that in a decent time so she's been really good we've just been taking her outside so we're lucky it's a dry day today so she's been going outside and she loves the astrograss she's been bouncing about out there and um, absolutely loving it and she likes my plants as well she keeps biting them at the moment her and Ella are currently lying in the dining room on the dining room rug cuddled in together which I'm just hoping to see that like little bond that they're starting to get I hope that continues that'll be so nice for them and the kids love her name as well so Ella keeps going around shouting Mags come on Max let's go Max <laughs> it's cute I like when they have like a nickname from their actual name but yeah we're going to go downstairs I'll show you what they look like in a wee sec once I finish making this bed and then I'm going to sit down and have a big drink of juice because for some reason it is so humid today I don't know if it's just our like house if we've had the heating on but it feels really warm and I'm wearing a jumper which doesn't help so yeah we'll make Charlie's bed I get the place sorted and then go downstairs and see these two and show you them cuddle up together because they're just too cute Okay. 
Why you so nice? Of her eyes, you know, so beautiful. Your eyes are gorgeous, darling. Your eyes are lovely. And obviously, her ears are not up yet, but this is basically what she would look like if they were. Cute. What are we doing, guys? Oh, Maggie in a bag. Ready? Ooh, what is this? Just drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Let's see it. Come in, let's see it. Good, it's good. It's nice. Yeah. That's, That's a good standing. Oh, I know. I know. Good, good. You see, now it's your turn. Shampoo on it. So, will you better put it on your hands? It'll be alright, Maggie. That's right. It will be alright, Maggie. Charlie, do you want to rub it on her? Oh, Hi guys, so it's been all going here for the last couple of days as you can imagine with having a puppy and everything I've tried to get some of the best clips of the last couple of days and put it all together so that you've got a little montage of little Maggie's first day at home or first weekend at home so yeah, I don't think I've even spoke to you in this about what we named her her name is Maggie, um, she's nine weeks old and she is a French Bulldog so at the moment her ears are down everyone thinks on Instagram that she is like a British Bulldog but she's not, she's a French Bulldog and her ears will go up in probably around three or four weeks, we think. Yeah, she has settled in quite the thing. I've been up with her maybe around every hour on the first night and she was going out and doing wheeze and everything and she was so good. She did do an accident on her bed when we were holding her, but apart from that, she's only ever really gone in a corner and tried to pee and then we managed to grab her and put her outside. So she has been really, really good with the toilet training so far, especially since she's in a new house and she wasn't toilet trained before. We were going to use puppy pads, but to be honest, it's actually just easier just to get her straight outside. Um, especially the fact that we do have a back door. I know if people have a flat, like you've got no other option to use puppy pads, but we've never used them before. And we tried to with Lola when she had, when we had her in our flat, but because we had like a main entrance flat, we just had stairs going up. Um, we were able to just put her outside quite easily, the same way we would do it in here, to be honest. So it was just easier to put her out and we didn't manage to use puppy pads then either so we thought we'll just go with what we know take her out every hour on the first night and then on the second night which was last night I took her out maybe every two and a half so at one point I was going to take her out at six o'clock but she was sound asleep and I thought you know I'll just leave her and if she pees in the tiles it's not a big deal we can just go over it but she was fine I got back with her at seven and took her back out so that was maybe what three and a half four hours that she had without going to the toilet which was amazing overnight and no leaks or anything so yeah she's doing really well with that she has had a couple of accidents in the house but nothing major and she is now like trying to go through the back door or at least get into like the kitchen area to have an accident which is good so she knows where to go but yeah she's so so cute she's a lilac and tan french bulldog and she's just so sweet we're really really happy with her she just seems to be settling in quite the thing and she definitely loves to be on you like I've noticed this a lot her nature is very very attentive but without being annoying you know some dogs it's just like you can't get a second she's quite happy to just do her own thing but if you're sitting there and there's a chance to be like leaning against someone's foot even like Fraser was doing dishes was it yesterday and she put her face on his feet while he was in the dishes like on his slippers and she fell asleep <laughs> so she's really cute like that and sometimes she falls asleep upside down as well with her tongue out which is like the funniest thing. I'm noticing she's got quite a lot of like really funny quirks already. So yeah, loving having her around. She's just been so cute. And I am currently making a banana loaf. It's Mother's Day today and we've not really got anything in to have with a cup of tea. So I thought I'll just make a banana loaf because my bananas were honestly like they were ready to be thrown out. They were so, so dark. It literally feels like summer. The only thing is though, she loves to eat my plants. So I need to be so careful because she's not had her second vaccinations yet. And we're just quite worried that she's going to end up like picking up a bug or something that she's not supposed to have. 
and then we're going to end up with the vets with her. So just trying to be really careful just now. I can't wait till she gets the second jag so we can take her out a walk. Like I'm really missing that. So yeah, anyway, this is day 10 in isolation for us. It's like heavy going, but do you know what? We'll get there. Just it feels a bit surreal that we can't do the things that we normally do. But to be honest, it's the best time to get a dog because we're always here and we're not leaving her on her own. So yeah, we make a cup of tea, get some banana bread and just chill out for the rest of the day. <laughs> Mom, can we have a surprise? No, Ella's saying Maggie's the best surprise. He's the best He's the best surprise. Daddy is the best surprise. Will, will we see if we can take her out for a wee wee? Yeah. Come on then, Max. Let's go, darling. Let's go to wee wee's because she's been sleeping for a long time, hasn't she? Yep. <laughs> Come on then, Maggie Moo. Let's go to Ireland. Back in. You're not getting back in. No. Are you a good girl? <laughs> <laughs>